Yo, what's up guys, Batwing here. Today I'm going to be going over upcoming updates. Now, unfortunately, these updates did get delayed. I'm still going to be going over all the upcoming updates in this video. So their next update is going to include three things. They are going to add building. They're also going to add factions or tribes. And they're also going to have a map expansion. So I'm going to first, I'm going to go over building. So anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so coming with the building part of the update, they are also going to add axes, like the picture I'm showing on, this, on the screen right now. So you're obviously going to be able to chop down trees, and when you chop down trees, let's say this tree right here, so you could probably either sell it, like just like mining, you can probably either sell it like mining, or if I show you this picture right here, there is a sawmill, and in the background you can see that... The general store is right there, which means end game that the sawmill will be right here, located right here. So my guess is, is that when you get your wood after chopping down the tree, you know, with the axes, you could either, you know, sell that wood, sell the wood for money, or you could take it over here to the sawmill and turn the wood into, I guess, building wood, which can be used to, you know, build your house. So, it, so when you gather your wood, you take your wood over here to the sawmill, and then you're able to turn your wood into wood that you can build with. And if you look at this area right here, end game, you'll see that it says for sale coming soon. And there are a lot of these. There is no doubt that all of these areas are where you will build your house. So anyway, I'm going to show you a picture of what it looks like to build your houses so like when you gather your wood you you know turn into building wood you can like build walls or something like that i think that's how this is going to work and if i show you this picture right here you will see that there is a decoration with you know the bear i was thinking that maybe you'll get that decoration from killing bears and maybe it's like a drop you'll get from a bear and then you could like put it in your house like, maybe you can get this decoration from Bear Pelt or something. And there's also this picture right here, and, and the way I see this picture, maybe this is a picture of a house they built. I'm not sure. It seems a little bit too big, but considering how small those spaces are, maybe this is just a new area on the map that's going to come out soon. But most likely, it's probably just a new area that's going to be added on the map. Now, I want to have a closer look at this picture. Now, if you look, the mouse is hovering over a log door frame. Now, it, show, it says that it costs one log, which probably has to do with the sawmill. You probably get those logs from the sawmill after, you know, you chop down your wood with those axes. But so, yes, this is what how this is how building is going to look like when you're, you know, you know, customizing your house, doing whatever. This is what building's going to look like. So... Right now, all we know is that a door frame is going to cost, a log door frame is going to cost one log, that is it. But I don't know, it might change. And if you look at some of the other stuff, you can see that this one right, you can see a one that looks kind of like a window. And then you also see the some that kind of look like walls. And there's this one in the top right corner that it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like, you know, a group of boxes. But if you look closer, it actually sort of looks like a staircase. Also, as you can see by this photo, that they are changing up the backpack just a little bit. So now there's a new house tab in your backpack where you have all your, you know, house stuff where you build. Well, in my opinion, the building part of the update sounds really, really cool. It gives you a lot more to do in the Wild West, especially when you've gotten every weapon and you really don't have anything else to do. This is a very good addition to the game. And honestly, I can't wait for building, and let me know what y'all think of building, but honestly, I can't wait. This sounds awesome. So now I'm going to move on to the next part of the video, which is tribes or factions. So let's get into it. Now for factions, this is the only picture we have of it. So I'll just tell you all the information I can see from this picture. So straight off the bat, I could already see that you can make your name whatever you want. So if I'm going to make a faction, I'm going to call mine the Batwings. Pretty sick. I'm actually kind of curious on what people, on how people would name their faction. So if you were to name your faction, what would you name it? Leave it down in the comment section. I'm actually kind of curious. Now the next thing I can see is that the max member count is 12 and you can increase that count by 4. You see it where it says buy plus 4 max. Now I'm hoping it doesn't cost Robux. Now if it does cost Robux, I'm fine with it, but as long as there's a way to get it end game, you know, without having to 
pay Robux to get it, let's say, I don't know, like 5,000 cash in game to increase your, you know, max member size, I would be cool with that, but if the only way to increase your member size is by spending Robux, I I'm not gonna like that that much, I'm gonna be honest. So hopefully there's a way you can buy more member counts in-game with, you know, in-game money and not just Robux. So the next thing I see is the button where you can leave the faction, and of course the owner can kick members, which I'm glad, because if you couldn't, that would be really dumb. And the next button I see, which is Friendly Fire. I am so glad they're adding this. You can turn Friendly Fire on or off, because I'm sure y'all have had these moments too where you're playing with your friends and you're having to kill this other guy, you know, y'all are teaming up on this guy, and then you accidentally kill your friend. And it's really, really annoying, but now that they added this, that solves all of the, those problems. Now you can actually team up with your friend without accidentally shooting each other. So I am super, super glad they're adding this. And of course, the next thing I see in your, the picture is that you can change your faction logo, which is pretty neat. I'll probably just use, you know, my YouTube logo, the bat, but I don't know. That's pretty cool. And that's really all there is to be said with this picture. I mean, there's nothing else to really say. This is the only picture we have about factions. So now I'm going to move on to the map expansion. Let's get into it. So if you go near the plantation, you'll notice this area that's full of fog. And this is the area that's going to get expanded. So this area, as you can see right there, is going to be called the Great Desert. And there are, I'm not sure how big this area is going to be, but I do have some pictures that I'm thinking is going to be in this area. So I'm going to show you the pictures right now. So this picture looks like there's going to be a new building, maybe a shop, I'm not sure. Now, it might, may or may not be located in the Great Desert, but mainly because if you look out the window, there's grass, and in the desert, there's not, there's no grass, so I, I, I'm not sure if this will be located either, like, ne maybe near the Great Desert or not. But anyway, this is a new location, maybe a shop, maybe new guns or something will be sold. I'm not sure. All right, so now I'm going to show you where I think that building is going to be located. So if you quickly spawn here in Outwell's Perch and you jump on these boxes and then on this wall right here. Oh, dang, I missed. There we go. And you get some binoculars or something like a sniper, anything. You could see that there is a city or a town over there. I'm not sure. And you can see that there is grass near the Great Desert area. So I am, there is no doubt that this, that picture I just showed you is going to be located in this area right here. Just a cool secret that I noticed. And then after a while, the fog will cover that up. So you'll, you'll only be able to see this for like 30 seconds or so. But yeah, that, that's my prediction. I feel like that this picture is going to be located in this area. Now, those three updates aren't the only things that are going to come out because there is another, which you can see by the building right here. And this is going to add wagons and carriages. So one thing that would be cool with carriages is that you could hold more than two people so you can bring more of your friends with you and they could shoot, help you, you know, shoot down people. And maybe you can, you know, have more than one horse. You can use two horses. Maybe three, who knows? I don't know, that seems really cool. And another cool thing that you could use with wagons is that you can have extra storage, such as when you go mining and your inventory is full, you can put some of the, those ores into your wagon so you can hold extra space. And therefore, once you get to the store and to sell your stuff, you will, you'll be able to get more money. But and that's just my opinion. I don't know if they'll add that or not, but that if they do, that would certainly be really cool. So I also have these two pictures, which look like pictures of new guns that are going to come out. I don't know. I thought that was pretty interesting. And I also have this picture of a burning tree, which honestly, to me, it looks like this tree got struck by lightning because you can see it has a little bit of electricity on it. I'm not sure. And then it's on fire. So I'm guessing that maybe that some trees are going to start being struck by lightning. And then catching on fire. So if you find this end game when it comes out, I recommend you not touch it. And here's another picture I have of a house on fire, so house fires maybe? I don't know if you could somehow make turn make your house on fire. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But anyway, I found something interesting about this picture is that if you look at his number five thing in his inventory, that is not in the game. 
To me, it sort of looks like a hammer. I'm not sure what this is going to be used for, but I just wanted to point that out because that is not in the game yet. So that is everything I have and pretty much everything we know so far about the upcoming updates that are going to come out in the Wild West. So let me know what y'all's favorite part of all these updates are. In my opinion, my favorite part are the tribes and factions. I can't wait to create my own faction. That's going to be pretty sick. Well, anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. If you found this video entertaining, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more Wild West content. Now, anyway, guys, see ya.